what is up everybody we are back bears franchise and we're going up against a, a new look uh green bay team with uh cooper cup and cam newton so this is going to be interesting this is this is one heck of a franchise let me tell you you never know who you're going to be playing against because everyone is constantly traded now i mean of course we are past the trade deadline so this had to happen before then but let's go ahead and look at the uh packers roster because i'm kind of interested yes he maybe aaron Rodgers got hurt we'll have to check on that but cam newton former carolina panther former uh new england patriot is in trying to salvage the season for the packers still got aaron jones and aj Dillon. got legs like the size of trees cooper cup is now solidified. I can't believe that the Rams traded away Cooper Cup. That's uh, that's quite ridiculous. Alan Lazar and Randall Cobb is still there, who we saw last time we played them. Robert Tunyon is still a tight end. Whoa, did they trade one of the best tackles in the NFL? They did. Bakhtiari, is he gone? What? All right, on the defensive side of the ball, there's not a lot here I think that we're too concerned with. I cannot believe. Now, we do have Rashawn Gary. And we do have Jerry Alexander. I did forget about him. Devondre Campbell, of course. I mean, more on the defensive line. I wasn't really talking about, like, the linebackers and safeties. Of course, oh, Jerry Alexander's gone, too. Rasheel Douglas is still here. He used to be a Carolina Panther and ripped that they got rid of him. That was a slap in the face. Darnell Savage, Adrian Amos. What the heck is going on? So week eight, the Packers signed Cam Newton to a one-year deal for two points. So maybe that's the week that, maybe that's the week that Aaron Rodgers got traded or hurt. They released Sammy Watkins. So I'm assuming in the, oh, Aaron Rodgers got traded to the Steelers. So the Rams get oh, David Bakhtiari and Jair Alexander for Cooper Cup. What? Now the Rams just got loaded, but now Aaron Rodgers is on the Steelers. So we don't even have to worry about playing him, even though he only had probably a few more years left. They released Mason Crosby in week eight. <laughs> so they signed him and then released him. I, I, what, what's going on? I, I don't know anymore. This is crazy. If the NFL was really like this, that, that would I guess that would be interesting. But of course, weekly awards, uh, Brisker did have defensive player of the week that was good to see but let's go ahead and start the weekly strategy so cam newton cooper cup i would imagine a lot of play action a lot of running outside defend the short pass i think is actually going to be probably the best thing to do at halftime if they're running a lot then we can make the adjustment i kind of like the way we're doing things here overall fatigue's not getting too great it's not too bad i don't think is there anyone that we really i think we just go half pads and we get all the uh starters in so we can get some xp that would be great. Now, on the defensive side of the ball, it says the counter the blitz. And we got to remember, their secondary is really good. How often do they blitz? They only blitz 35% of the time, which, I mean, is a third of the time. They play a lot of zone coverage. And if we blitz counter, the bad thing is they get a faster reaction to the short pass, which then playing zone coverage is going to kind of help them out. I think we still need to focus on running on the inside. We're not good enough yet to start worrying about passing and stuff. Let's be honest. Overall offensive fatigue is a, is a 92%. It's, it's kind of getting pretty bad here. I don't really know who's attributing to the majority of that. It, it's, it's weird. You would think that with the amount of times we're not on the field as an offense, that it wouldn't be as bad, but that's definitely going down a lot. So we did get a few people upgraded. And also I just released my auto sub sliders, which this video might be like a few days behind uh and a cool hair gets an upgrade so if you're interested in that link will be down in the description below and the reason i brought that up was because of the fatigue i'm still trying to figure out the fatigue and maybe i have the fatigue a little too high so you know that could be attributing to why the off but that still doesn't make sense like why would the offense fatigue faster than defense when we're on the field as a defense a lot more than we are on the offensive side of the ball unfortunately if we view the playoff picture i didn't even see this are we there new no. uh the seven is the eagles the bucks and the panthers so eagles bucks and panthers are kind of who we who we are fighting against in the nfc so we'll have to you know be wary of that the five and seven bears are hosting the seven and five green bay packers with new quarterback and offensive weapon cam newton and cooper cup who Cooper Cup, guys, has 1,400 yards and 16 touchdowns? What is going on? What is going on? That is ridiculous. So good chance he's going to catch a lot. Oh my God. Let's start this game. See how it goes. It can't get any worse, right? I have adjusted some more sliders. Make sure you're uh, joining the Discord so that you uh, get an update on all those sliders whenever I do make changes. So 81 Packers going up against the 76 Bears. 
Cooper Cup, Aaron Jones, Jair Alexander, who's not, well, he's not there anymore. Cam Newton, it's gonna be interesting. All right, here we are, Chicago. Man, I'd hate to play in Chicago this time of the year. It'd be freaking crazy cold. Look at that, 16 touchdowns for, might be MVP, and definitely Offensive Player of the Year, Cooper Cup, as him and the Green Bay Packers look to pretty much step on the throats of the Chicago Bears as they are vying for a wild card spot. A loss here could very much put them out of the playoff hunt. It won't. I mean, we can still get in nine to eight, but it's going to be difficult. This is probably this is probably the last remaining like tough team that we'll have to face. I still think the Vikings is going to be pretty hard with uh, CD Lamb. We're going to try to blitz Cam Newton. We're in number eleven. Who's who? who wore, who's got one? Oh, some, is that Cup? Cooper Cup's got one. We're blitzing. Throwing it off to the left. Cam Newton not on the same page as Anthony Lazar as the pressure tries to get home. Robert Quinn's out. That's another thing. We'll get three quality starters. I cannot believe that Robert Quinn has not done anything. But we do get Cole Komet back and Leighton Vander Esch next week. So that would be huge. We get a win without them and get them back. It's stopped in the backfield. No. Aaron Jones spins off of Gibson's tackle. But then there's that man again. Carson coming in with a stop behind the line. That's the reason why I think we, not, we might need to get him. At least as a bridge guy until somebody, or at least depth, right? In case somebody gets hurt, he's proved that he can do it. Ooh, a little false start. False start, awesome. Okay, that puts him behind even more. I guess we'll do we'll do quarters. If they pick up the first down here. I wanna, I wanna start the game off, you know, in a good mood. <laughs> Let's let him throw it underneath. Maybe Cam throwing it deep. Can we? Jalen Johnson with the breakup. I guess you can call it a breakup. Basically just dropped. I think that was his hard and they will have to punt it and we'll get pretty decent field position. It's actually a really good punt. Let's be honest. Let's run to the outside Pettis with already two. Is that worth maybe three? Kickoff returns for a touchdown. Not been able to have as much success punting the ball but the game plan strategy for the chicago bears was to feed montgomery up the middle no more kenny clark no more jair alexander but still a very good linebacking core for the green bay Packers, as they're going to look to try to stop the run game from the chicago bears and force the ball into the hands of justin fields or on the arm of justin fields we might want to say Montgomery falls forward and picks up, I think, a yard. Enforcing the pass in situations just like this. Third down and six. Aggie's got her football in her mouth. She's ready. Let's see if we can't get something going here. Let's throw that shoulder. I, I just got to quit. I, I just have to quit freeform passing it because it just doesn't work. It just doesn't work. That's just all there is to it. And what I mean by it doesn't work, it, it doesn't work in those types of situations you throwing it like down the field it seems to work okay but our guy just never reacts to the ball right that has to be me in the comments somebody let me know is this just me or is it just the game is doing this so like i throw it back shoulder the safety's running right alongside my wide receiver he can stop and turn up field my guy can't it just seems like it's super cheesy maybe we can freeform past this because it kind of looks like it's man We had nothing that I felt like comfortable to throw. What the heck? I... Houston, Houston Carson. Um, I didn't mean to do that. Maybe that's like the universe giving me one back or something. I don't know. We'll have to take it. That's the only way we can actually make it. I love my punter can just pressure in his face, deliver a strike. My quarterback can't. It just doesn't make sense, right? All right, we pick up four on the play. We're over midfield, ball on the 44. Nice little block there. I don't know what's going on in that huddle, but we, we somehow move forward. Third and one. Montgomery's got five rushes, 14 yards. I don't feel good about running against this. We got six minutes remaining in this quarter. Montgomery gets the first down. There's Ebner with a nice run up the middle. A gain of nine, picks up the first down. We're in the 26 now. And, I, you know, this is playoff... We, we have to, we have to play really smart. I mean, season is on the line. 
Also, playoff picks are on the line, so maybe I want to. Or not, I mean, draft picks. We got a loss of two. I mean, our offensive line does suck. That's also another thing. You saw Alex we um, Leatherwood, former first round draft pick by the Raiders, gets picked up by the Bears today in real life. So that'll kind of let you know what day I'm, I'm recording this video. I wonder if that's going to help them out. He's obviously got the talent, but be a first round offensive lineman. To get cut as an offensive lineman in the NFL because there's there's a shortage of good ones and you're and you're a first round draft pick you have the talent that's not a good sign maybe he can start things off you know in a new place we've shed a tackle montgomery i'm trying to get to that edge just not quite fast enough averaging 3.5 yards and carry we have a third down and two they are in zone i really would love to run this guys i just i just don't know like it, it's like i have to time that right like you have to make this read because remember i'm i'm waiting for this guy to cut because that's his route look at this route that bringle cuts the ball i'm expecting him to cut it up this way look at this route cam newton's over three that's super realistic <laughs> believe me i know Look at that, throwing the run. And it's broken up again. Hey, these sliders actually might help out a little bit with some of those pass breakups. Contact. Might also have to do with Cam Newton's throwing ability. I don't know if that actually matters or not. The RNG, we're going to try to bring some pressure. A blitz coming up, and Cam Newton just misses it. Oh, a five for Cam Newton. His arm might be a little messed up. I didn't change the quarterback accuracy at all. I do think that the wide receivers play a big role in our interceptions. Like them not coming to the ball, not making crisp routes. I'm not saying that's the reason for all of them. I think that's a good reason for a lot of them. <laughs> it's comical. Like that's, that's the only thing I can do at this point is laugh and get more gooder. We're gonna try to get some pressure on Cam. It seems to be working. We didn't get it there. He does complete his first pass of the day. We're still in this. We've thrown three picks in one quarter. So uh, over or under in the comments, 10. Do you think we'll have 10 for the end of this freaking game? Oh my God. We're gonna try to get a uh, corner blitz. It's really the only way we can get pressure. Not from our linemen. What do we got? There it is. There was the pressure and it was somehow, I don't know if that was caught or not. So we have a, a really good opportunity here, even down by 10, because we're able to hold their offense. I just can't believe they traded away Aaron Rodgers for basically cooper cup i mean that's that's what they got and i think they got a first round draft pick for it as well so i don't know maybe they were thinking about the future they didn't feel good about their chances of winning anything this year i don't know little juke break a tackle still getting hit gain of four now it's third and three yeah we we got it we got to pass it ah uh, we maybe we should have ran it i really hate trying to throw in these situations throw that underneath we can why did you run backwards so third down and two we really could use a stop. Oh, a little RPO, Cam Newton. I haven't seen him run yet. In his first run, he gets nine. We have only seven minutes remaining in this half. And that's two receivers bumping into each other. I was trying to go to Cooper Cup, who has not, who has not had uh, too many opportunities today. He might try to run it if he has an opportunity. That's thrown and batted down. That's what I want to see. Four of 12 for Cam Newton not too hot we're gonna try my favorite play in the world madden and that's the screen let's see if it can't work here montgomery almost gets the first down justin fields now with some positive yardage this game hates me this game hates me oh man oh that's a pick Tavon young with the interception this might be our chance of getting a touchdown on defense. And do we get a hit? Yes, we do. No way. We return it. Cam Newton pressure throws it up. He does not look good at all. I mean, it's been, what, almost a decade since he has. Oh, my God. At least 2017. Well, no review, so we'll get to kick this. We'll be down by three. And there's been 17 points in this game. Only three of them have came on from the offense so second and one as they try to move the ball down the field and score before the half smith i really don't know who that is i'm gonna be honest with you oh man that was a freaking great sweep there aaron jones picks up the first down second and eight three minutes remaining it looks like they want to try to run it and maybe take some of this time off the clock no they're not 
There's Cooper Cup's first catch. Didn't pick up the first down, but did pick up some yardage. Seven, as a matter of fact. And of course, we're blitzing. Trying to get the linebacker. I didn't get it. Come on, Brisker. Come on, man. I can't remember who got the ball first. Um, Cam Newton looking to try to run it, and there's a sack. Linsville Joseph, the only player on our team, defensive lineman, who can get pressure. And yes, you see that silver shoot punch or whatever it's called. We are running this. They're going to let time run off the clock, but I'm going to be happy with using a timeout here and having to kick the field goal or get this punt and try to go down and tie this game before the half. Oh, what a good punt, man. Even better. <laughs> Even better. So we, <laughs> we just passed it because that was a coach suggestion, and now it's telling us to run it. Wanted to pass it with the ball on the four, but then we pick up yardage and go ahead and run it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw deep. They're not blitzing a lot and running it. Really, they're not doing a whole lot running it. Uh, again, throwing a short defend the short pass is working, so we're going to stick with that. Of course, they'll probably switch up their game plan. We do get the ball first. I know... Throw it deep might seem like it's like why, but it helps out with the pocket a little bit. So I'm gonna see if it just gives us time to throw it underneath some. I mean, at this point, we we're three for eight for three with three interceptions. Like it's pretty funny. There's a Shaughnessy with a catch in for Cole Komet. Very nice, very nice. Ball on the 33. And Chicago looks to try to potentially take the lead. 19 rushes, 62 yards for David Montgomery, who continues to eat this season. For the Chicago Bears, he is their offense. He's the only reason why we've won as many games as we've won. I wish our linemen would block just once. I'm really looking for a Shaughnessy, to be honest with you. Uh, Shaughnessy? Ah, oh, we got hit. There's Abner with a nice catch. Longest... Pass play, I think, on the day for Justin Fields. As we're almost in field goal range here, we're going to do this little weird play. I, I, don't, know, I don't think I've ran this play before, to be honest with you. I don't know how it all kind of un unwinds. Yeah, I don't like that. That felt weird. Pettis, man coverage. Can he take it to the house? Tries. Starting to pick up some yardage on this drive and maybe even a touchdown. Is it possible? Nice block, Montgomery. Come here, I'm gonna hit Sticky. Takes it to the house, and we're up 14 to 10, Chicago on top. All right, so Cam Newton coming back on the field with his first deficit of the game. This feels great. I, don't, I, I can't remember what it feels like to have a lead. It feels like it's been so long ago. Bears are on top 14 to 10 here in the third quarter. They're gonna still continue to run it. Not a lot of success for Aaron Jones. 10 rushes, 37 yards. That was Lazard's actually first catch of the game for 13 yards. Oh, Robert Tunyon. Come on, man. Where is our where is our coverage? So just like that, they say checkmate. Look at there. Cam ain't complete. Let's just think about this for a second. Cam has not been able to complete a pass all game while he was losing. As soon as we get a lead, just two passes. Wide open guy for like 50 yards. And then on the run, throws it a dime piece in the back pylon. This game is so broken. Look at this. Just ran just ran the ball. There's, there's the line of scrimmage. Okay, that should be a, like a two-yard gain, right? It's second and 10. I didn't pick up any yardage. Oh my God, this game, man. It's just, it, it just gets worse and worse. It just gets worse and worse the more you play it. <laughs> oh, I got overturned. Thank you for that. I was in such a good mood. This game destroys anyone who is happy at the present time. I'm really surprised he didn't drop that. Darnell Mooney with a catch. Ball on the 49 at midfield. His first catch, I do think, of the contest, if I'm not mistaken. And it was for a gain of 17. He has been showing up a lot more. We got a blitz coming off this left edge. Maybe Montgomery or Mooney is going to be open here. Uh, there's Mooney. Of course, the guy who wasn't even looking turns around and is able to make a tackle. Nice run, Mooney. Mooney, Montgomery. He's got, he's, 
averaging like still under 40 yards a carry yeah, but he's running good you know he's doing the best that he can <laughs> he's doing the best that he can all things considered and by all things considered i mean the fact that he had guys that was a on the run pass with good accuracy you saw it come up on the screen what was that and look at that nice run by pettis get it back but guys like <laughs> i don't think gameplay has ever been this bad and that's saying something like just so inconsistent it, it's pretty bad sharp with the catch he's in because everyone's tired they're running down field trying to chase pick sixes look at that look at that just perfect break on the ball able to come right to it that actually was probably a good re like a good that was on me i'll take that one i was tracking mooney the whole way and it should have been thrown right here but i wanted to set my feet because if i if it's not I'll get a good pass accuracy and the ball will go way off somewhere. So I tried to sit my feet and throw it. And you know, I, you throw it and your receiver just completely runs upfield like nothing's going on. And, and remind you, that's Darnell Mooney. That's our number one receiver. He's like an 82 overall and he doesn't even come to the ball. Like they even try to attempt the pass being broken up as I get pancakes. All right, third and three. I mean, we got to make a stop. We also got to stop throwing interceptions but i don't know how not to at this point third and three can we get some pressure intercept it. i dare anyone to say that there's something that this game is in a good spot i dare someone to say that man 23 is a step in the right direction i dare it when you see this what he's caught the ball I i'm done i'm done and it's third down and third down and two um i mean we got we got to make a stop if they score a touchdown here we just we won't be able to answer <laughs> look at this well, look, i guarantee you my defenders hit each other i guarantee freaking to you it happens every single time i didn't see it it happens every time it never happens on the offense like if you're playing offense i mean i'd like to score some points or something it would it would be nice of course now we've got all the time in the world to throw it people are coming open left and right <laughs> uh we finally had somebody for a touchdown can't complete it Icing on the cake. Oh, nice catch, Mooney. Yeah, I think I'm just done with the freeform passing. It just, it just doesn't work the way it's intended. I don't know. Maybe I just suck with it. I, I, it just seems like sometimes you just don't get your, your player doesn't react to it being in the bubble. I'm, I'm not saying that it always has to come up with a catch, but man, when you throw it in the bubble and they don't even like react to it, super frustrating. All right, so we lose 31-21. We throw five interceptions. There was like, what, three pick sixes? We, I mean, we dominated that game in pretty much every way except for the interceptions. I, you just, I don't know. I feel like some of them are my my fault, you know, for sure. But yeah, you know, same story as always. We lose. Yep. It's going to be tough for us to get into the playoffs. Now, David Montgomery did get a skill point, and I think I guess we just stick with Elusive back here for him. He, he's not really been shaking it up too much as far as juking and stuff. He, his stiff arm actually works really well. Kyler Gordon gets a arc or a point, and he'll stick with. He's kind of a slot guy for us, but he does have man-to-man -man skills. Um, We'll just do man-to-man. -man. Most of the time when he's in the slot, he's going to be doing man anyways. And then our punter finally gets somebody. Hey, hoorah for Trenton Gill. I guess we'll do power. I don't think there's a reason not to do power. There's 70 overall, so let's I, let's see what happens. <laughs> let's. Uh, we need the Vikings, the Eagles, the Panthers, or the Bucks to lose. And I, I think the servers are down. They're starting to act up. Yeah, so Edwards did have a dislocated ankle. He's out for six weeks. So, I mean, injuries starting to stack up all the way across the board and not really not at good time. We do got a bye week next week, so we can kind of see what 
all unfolds. I think that's pretty much it. Let's advance the week and see. We'll do the bye week and the Eagles game in the next video. But I gotta be interested. Hey, at least we didn't give up a touchdown to Cooper Cup. I don't think he caught that. I think that was Tunyon that caught the touchdown in the corner of the end zone to uh, camp from Cam Newton. And I'm not sure if they won or not. I can't even really remember. But if we view the playoff picture, the Vikings are probably now going to be in it, I would imagine. Oh my God, this game is so slow. Well, connection's lost. I keep getting connecting uh, error. I guess there's something going on with the servers. I'll catch you on the next one. That's a good way to finish this video anyways. <laughs> Appreciate the support, everybody. Have a good day.